Hey now, AdamReeveRefuge-Tone.com, continuing in our Less Crappier video series, going back and remaking a bunch of the old videos with a little bit better quality and footage for you. Today, we're going to go over the tremolo stopper. So the tremolo stopper is a little bracket that sits in the back cavity of your guitar between the springs that prevents the tremolo from pulling up or floating. You can still dive to your heart's content, but it makes the bridge nice and stable, a great tuning environment, and it actually sounds better because you're making direct contact to the block. You can rest your hand on the bridge. It's a really, really great product. And a lot of guys don't know that they don't have to float their bridge. I get a ton of emails of people telling me, I can't tune this right, it's a pain in the ass, I can't rest my hand on the bridge, I don't like it. And little did they know that you can just add a trem stopper. You don't even have to use the trem. Your guitar could essentially be almost hardtailed, but you could still dive if you like. So, I'm gonna show you how to put the trem stopper in. It's real simple, let's give it a whirl. We're gonna start with the brass bracket. You want to set it in the cavity right back here. You want to find the center. Good way to find the center is if you use this as a guide. If you use the claw, take the center finger and just kind of line it up right there and bring the edge of the bracket a little bit more than a quarter to a half inch from the edge of the wooden route of the fall off. From there, you're going to mark two holes of where you're going to put your screws. And for the front hole, I suggest you put it right up against this U here in the route. So when the, the stopper pushes back, it's up against the edge. Once you have that set, mark the two holes. You could drill two small pilot holes, 16th of an inch, if you like. Sometimes I just shoot the screw right in there. Use the silver mounting screws. You can pop your tremolo out and make this job a whole lot easier, but just for the sake of showing you the basics, I'm going to wing it for you. Next, you take the black screw. On the back edge of the black screw, it actually takes your three millimeter Allen wrench right on the back there. So that's going to go back this way. You're going to thread the screw through the bracket. Just as the screw starts to come through the bracket, we're going to use the lock nut and get that on there as well. Don't tighten the lock nut yet, and don't even set the trem stopper yet. So now you'll see I have everything in place, and now we have to set it. You're going to bring the black screw in to touch the block, and you're going to make sure you set it so that your bridge is level to the body. Once you have it set where the bridge is level to the body, I'm going to hold the black screw in place. I'm going to tighten the silver lock nut. This will prevent everything from moving. That's nice and tight now. Here's a little tip I like to do to deaden the sound that the stopper makes when you put the trim back down. I take a small swatch of gaff tape. I depress the tremolo arm, my left hand. Little piece of tape right here. There you have it, tremolo stopper install. Once you have everything in place, everything set, you can tighten the claw screws so the block is tight to the stopper. Then feel the tension. You can increase or decrease the tension to your desired feel. If you want it to be really tight, you can add extra springs, you can tighten it all the way in, so you could do doubled stop bends or not. Once you have your desired feel, you're done. If you like it really tight, just add another spring, tighten this up further, you could do double stop bends, whatever you like, but that's as stable as it gets. There you have it. Brass trim stopper. No more fighting the float. No more, no more pulling out your hair. Know what I mean? Check it out. fu-tone.com tremolo stoppers.